All right, so inverse trig functions and differentiation. Okay, now these are going to be very closely related with each other. Let me just double check to make sure tangent. Yep. yep, okay, so we're all good. All right, so everything's all set up to be like this. Okay, now these first three are the principal trigs, and these are the reciprocals. Okay, so when you guys are using this stuff and just working with it, just understand that a lot of these identity or a lot of these derivatives actually come from uh, the the trig identities and everything. As you can see, these are very closely related. Okay, All right, and when you're working with this stuff, be very careful to understand that everything underneath the fraction is actually going to be sometimes in squares roots and sometimes not. Now, cosecant and secant are going to have the unique ones of having the, the absolute value of x's. So just understand the reason being is you need to plug in positive values right there. Okay, it will prevent you from plugging in the wrong values. Okay, but as you can see, a lot of them are just closely, closely related. Like for example, uh, cotangent, the derivative of the arc cotangent, derivative of the arc tangent, will actually be opposites of each other. Okay. Nope, and let me see. Something got messed up. Let's change this to, I believe this is cosine. Yep, that should be cosine there. That's my bad. Right, let's move it. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right, so these two will be opposites. Okay, now let me see. Cosine and secant will be opposites because they're reciprocals of each other, which makes sense. Okay, because if you think about it, when they're derivatives, uh, when you're, if you remember the inverse functions, and e, e, the the inverse with the actual function, their slopes should be uh, reciprocals of each other or negative reciprocals of each other. No, well, not negative reciprocals, but reciprocals of each other. Okay, and these ones just turn out to be the negatives of each other, and it's really kind of cool how it works. Okay. All right, just pay attention to when you're working with this stuff. And uh, the reason why I use arcs is because in Desmos, the only way to do integration sometimes is to actually, I'm sorry, the only way to do inverse functions is to act, uh, of trig functions is to actually type in the arc before you do it. Okay. All right. But that's pretty much it for inverse trig functions differentiation. I will talk to you guys later.